Hi everyone, Jackie with Full Moon Loon Designs, and I thought I would just do a quick video uh, using this circle cutter that I have, and I don't have my box anymore. I want to say it was the Circle Pro Cutter by Cutters Mate, but I will get the exact uh, name and a link for you. Uh, but anyway, I've got it set up. I want to cut some small circles. I have these really sweet little molds. And I want my glass to be three and a half inches. So I did do a test one and that worked out very well. So what I do is I set up my stops and I center my glass and I try to just cut smaller pieces down. And this is a four inch square. So I am gonna put it in here and center it. Well, it's already centered. This particular piece of glass was a little bit longer on one side and when I cut circles I cut counterclockwise so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here the glass is set in between those little stops I'm just going to pick a place to stop I find it's best if I'm standing up there I just hit where I started and hopefully you can see that. And from there, I am gonna make a few score cuts. Oops, that one I might have cut into it, hopefully not. So I'm not sure if that's showing up, but I'm gonna do that. And then I have a piece of, just a little carpet sample down on my tabletop. I'm just going to push that to try to help run that score. This particular piece of glass seems a little bit heavy. But, and now I'm just going to apply a little more pressure until it starts to break. And I'll probably have to grind these. I usually do. But this works for me much better than the lens cutter. I know a lot of people have good luck with that, but I did not. And really, if I wanted, I probably wouldn't have to grind these edges, but I am gonna clean them up so that they're a nice smooth circle. And sometimes when it's a small piece, you can either use the grozers or in this case, I'm just going to take it off like that. So here's the circle, just needs a little bit of cleanup, but that's how I use this cutter. So I've got some more squares of glass that I cut from just smaller pieces. I never like to call it scrap. And I'm going to cut some circles. have my circles that are ready for cleanup just taking the edges to the grinder and then removing some labels and just cleaning them overall so that's how I made six small circles for six of these little slumping molds what I'm going to do is actually fuse them uh, with maybe a little frit and some maybe just plain a couple of them are eared so I, I would have fun with those and fuse them first and then slump them on these little dishes. Got those at Glass Endeavors in Minneapolis. Great little shop. Anyhow, thanks for watching.